Good morning. This morning was a great morning for me. I was sailing the boat all by myself and the sun was coming up and I saw uh, porpoises swimming underneath the boat. They'd swim underneath the boat and then they'd jump out on the other side and then they'd dive back down and swim underneath the boat and back and forth they went just having a grand old time playing with Elizabeth, our boat. So we thought we'd talk a little bit about whales and porpoises today. We've seen two types on our journey so far. We think it's a minky. Yeah, minky. And um, a type of porpoise, which we're not really sure. Um, but porpoises are also within the whale family. Yeah, kind of looks like a dolphin, sort of. Mm -hmm. Now, whales are cool because they are mammals, just like me and you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so that means they breathe air just like we do. So they come up to the surface and they have what's known as a blowhole on the back of their head. And they come up to the surface and they breathe and then they dive back down and they swim for a while and then they come back up and breathe. And when they're swimming they have to hold their breath just like you and I would. And uh, so they have this great response. It's called the diving response. And it's an adaptation that they've developed where when they dive into the water their heart rate slows down and their metabolism, metabolism slows down so that they require so that they can swim underneath the water for a long time and not have to take as many breaths of air. So we have an experiment for you to try. You'll need a few things. You'll need a stopwatch. Okay, stopwatch, got it. And you'll need either Some a bucket or you can use a giant popcorn bowl or a sink Something that you can water. fill with water. Yeah. Okay, Benji, will you fill this with water? Okay. Ooh. Oh. Okay, you can pour a little bit out. That's good. And the last thing you might need is you might want a towel because guess what, Benji? What? You're going to get wet. Okay, so here's what you need to do. You have your bucket of water, your stopwatch, and your the person, <laughs> your volunteer, Ben just volunteered. Good. And what you want to do is first you're going to take their heart rate and you can find their pulse right here on their wrist or you can find it here on their neck. I'm going to find yours here. And you want to use your fingers and not your thumb because your thumb has its own heartbeat, interestingly enough. All right, I got it. So then, when you have the heart rate, you're going to time for 15 seconds. You're going to count how many beats you, you feel. Okay? Benji, you yeah. have to hold your breath. Ready? So I'm going to count to three. You'll hold your breath, and then okay. I'll start the timer. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. So he had 18 beats in 15 seconds. So if he times that by four, you'll get beats per minute. What's 18 times four? Uh, <laughs> 20 times four is 80 minus eight, 72. Good. That That's right? backwards math, but good. That's how I do it. So 72 beats per minute. That's his heart rate. And yep. now we're going to check and see if his heart rate slows down because of the diving response when he dives into this bucket of water. Mm -hmm. Let me find this heart rate again, and then I'm going to, he's going to put his face in the water, hold his breath, of course, and then I'm going to count his beat, how many beat, heartbeats I feel in 15 seconds. Got it. I don't have to do anything. Just hold my breath. And put your face in the oh, water. Yeah, in that Are you ready? Yeah. Did you we get just, my, you got my we just pulled this water from the ocean, and it's, it's 41 four, degrees. It's 41 degrees. <laughs> that alone might stop your heart. Yeah. <laughs> Let me take my glasses off. All right. You got my heartbeat there? Yeah, and I'll shake your hand when you can come up. Oh, good. That's a great idea. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go ahead. I made it. You made it 15 seconds and you had 16 beats. Really? Yeah, 16 heartbeats. So what's 16 times 4? 64, 64 beats per minute. That's his heart rate. Wow. So that's lower. That's two beats. So he did have a diving response. Yeah. Now, if we were really doing a scientific experiment to see if humans do have that diving response, we would repeat this 20 times. Are you ready, Benji? No. Uh. <laughs> so maybe you can all do it. If each person does it and you get a partner and you try this, 
write all, you know, record everybody's answers and see if, in general, awesome. everybody has a lower heart rate. It's nice. Feels good in there. Good. So after you towel off, send us your questions and comments, and we'd love to answer them. And that's it from Elizabeth this time. Bye-bye. Thank you.